Hello viewers, this is Khalid Mahmood once again with you, a new video. The topic of the day is how to install ArcGIS desktop, the version 10.7 and in which all the tools will work properly. So I will go one by one, step by step details and will provide you up to the maximum information which you guys should have and you will not feel any error issue after installing the desktop version so let's get into the video so first of all I strongly recommend you uh, to download and install Windows Update Assistant so suppose as I am using Windows 10 and you guys are also using Windows 10 or if you are using Windows 7, Windows 8 or other versions so I strongly recommend you uh, go to your uh, Windows version and download Windows Update Assistant and you can uh, from your keyboard you can press window and R button to open the run command and here you can write win version and it means window version W I N V E R and then click OK so here you can see the window version as I have version 1909 and you can check on the internet is it the latest version or not if it is the latest version it's ok otherwise you have to install the latest version uh, the benefit behind this is that after installing the ArcGIS desktop any version if your windows is not updated then while working with arc map or arc catalog you can have a list of errors so in order to avoid those errors i strongly recommend you to update your windows version first before installing the arcgis desktop version so uh, after you have this tool you have to just double click on it and follow the available instructions it will update all the uh, uh, windows uh, components and it will take some time maybe half hour 40 minutes 45 minutes so go with that so after having this setup file Azri RJS desktop 10.7.0.10450 in a zip file so first of all you have to uh, extract or unzip all the data and here it is uh, we have extracted open that file and here you can see that uh, you will have one exe file and one dll file folder so here i strongly recommend you to right click and keep this zip file as well because sometimes uh, your uh, windows can delete the content so if uh, it is being deleted by your windows uh, some security settings so that you can unzip it again from this file so here you have to install uh, this exe file you have to right click on it and then click on run as administrator uh, accept yes so you can minimize this one and here we go you have to click next and within a minute the the launch the setup program will be ready so just close the option and if you are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe so here you have to click next then you have to accept the master agreement then click next uh, keep selected this complete option click next then next so I usually uncheck this option click install uh, now the installation part starts and it can take uh, 3 minutes or 4 minutes depending on the hard disk uh, drive on which you have installed the windows so a, here I have one recommendation is that always use SSD drive 
to install your windows and definitely all the softwares usually the computers and pcs they have hdd drive or disk drive and i recommend ssd drive solid state drive you can go to google.com and find the difference between ssd drive and hdd drive the performance of ssd drive is much better than hdd drive so hdd drive basically have moving components that's why you can uh, listen sometime the sounds coming from your pc or laptop and that is actually the sound of your hdd drive so the ssd drives are uh, very small with no moving objects with better performance so i strongly recommend you uh, to uh, to find ssd drive uh, go to your nearest computer market and ask the experts there that i have this laptop i have my pc and uh, i want to upgrade my disk drive from hdd to ssd and i want to install the windows on ssd drive so here another suggestion is that if your laptop or pc have only one drive option then go with ssd drive install the windows on that and make partitions for other drives d drive e drive etc so if your uh, laptop or pc have two drives option you can place two drives in your pc or laptop then uh, have one ssd drive and one hdd drive ssd drive to have to install windows and install all the softwares on that ssd drive and for hdd drive uh, you can store all of your personal professional files for example if you have satellite imagery files that are usually in gbs and you have other professional files software setup files iso files any other related personal or professional files your uh, pictures uh, backup your mobile backup you can keep on hdd drive uh, and use ssd drive to install the windows and keep the all the software installed on your ssd drive so that's the recommendation and i have other recommend uh, if you have any other related information which i uh, which i have skipped or which i right now i am not able to uh, recall just write them in the comment section below i will try to explain in another video so that we we can uh, together help all the learners all the js learners so i have other suggestion that uh, visit all other uh, js videos on my channel and i have js uh, lectures video and i have other uh, work around videos as well for example if your arc map is not working hang due to some reason i have a link for that file available in the description below so you can check that link as well and you can fix your arc map and uh, there are upgrades in our guest versions and uh, right now we are installing our guest test version 10.7 and uh, there is a new release also 10.7.1 as well and maybe in february or march esri will release 10.8 version as well so in the sequence i will uh, continue to install videos so if you read something from my from me then just write down your email address in the comment section below i will try to provide the uh, valid information with you and and uh, i can suggest to watch other relevant videos and leave your comments below those videos that this video is helpful or uh, partially helpful you are looking for some other relevant information just uh, go for that mention it there i will try to explain in my upcoming videos so as you can see that this installation is taking times because uh, in each version of our this desktop they are enhancing uh, more uh, they are enhancing the capabilities they are adding more tools more functionalities 
and they are uh, there the size of the software is increasing and installation is taking time usually due to the heavy file size and you can see that even i have ssd drive on which i have installed the window and right now installing this software is taking this time so think about that if you have hdd drive it will take more time to install your uh, software on your on your hdd drive so hope now it will finish within one or two minutes it will not take any more time so i am thinking now to uh, make more videos on the topic uh, re relevant to gis i have uh, received a lot of messages on my facebook uh, page i will provide the link in the description as well for my facebook page and the facebook page name is also the same uh, geo magazine and you can uh, join like that page as well and uh, you can find a lot of uh, all of my video links there and uh, other uh, discussions topics as well there now installing the files has started so right now actually i don't have any editing software in which i can skip this part and i usually uh, do not recommend myself to skip any part because usually i talk during this time period i usually recommend uh, some other things that's why i prefer to keep with the, all the exact time of the installation so that you you guys have an idea uh, what time is exactly taking by this uh, uh, software and each version and uh, i have the uninstall video as well how to uninstall rgis completely there are actually three steps if you will follow those three steps then you will be able to install any new version or of the same version properly so i will provide the download link in the description as well uh, in which you can uh, in which you can see how to uninstall rts desktop uh, completely and then salam alhamdulillah so in which you can see that uh, how to uninstall the software completely so i have received a message uh, some time ago that how to convert kml files completely into a uh, shape file usually people use arc map and arc map conversion for uh, kml to shape file uh, will not give you all of the attributes available in the kml file if you have received a kml file from any of the uh, source and you have to convert the kml or kmz file into a shape file i have explained a better way to convert uh, those files using the software global mapper in a separate video you can go through my videos and you will definitely easily find that uh, video as well and if you are new to the channel i strongly recommend you to go for a subscription and it will help me it will encourage me indirectly uh, in a way that i should make uh, other videos for you guys and that will be helpful for you and it will give me also 
uh, more people to connect on the same platform and you guys can leave down your comments below in the description uh, in the comment section below that uh, how is about this video and other videos as well and write down your recommendations below i will try my best to uh, explain those topics and all the relevant issues so this uh, arcgis desktop is the version in which you can see that all tools will work fine properly we will explore, explore at the end of the video so now you can see that the arcgis desktop 10.7 has been successfully installed but not yet registered so now we will register using the dll file you have to just click finish and then you have to just click cross there and then you have to open this file go to dll file and you have to copy this file let me show you as a large icon so this copy this file right click copy and go to this pc and then go to c drive and here you can see uh, program files s86 then open rgis then desktop 10.7 and then win folder and here you have to paste that dll file replace continue and that's it you have just copy dll file and paste into the uh, to this uh, location let me explain again you have copy the dll file go to c drive program files rjs desktop 10.7 and bin and you have pasted that dll file now you are ready to use arcmap go to start and found the rjs folder and here you can see that's your R map 10.7 is there click on that and you can see that there is no error message and you guys can have error message at this stage while opening our map if your windows version is not updated as i have explained at the start of the win uh, the video that you should install this windows update assistant and uh, open this windows update assistant uh, file and it will uh, give you some commands next 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 and it will check your windows version and will let you know that uh, uh, it is updated or not if it is not updated then you, then you have to update now you can see that uh, we have successfully installed rjs uh, desktop 10.7 the full version not the pre-release version so you can find some of the videos that have pre-release version but i am showing you the uh, full version here you can see rjs desktop with the lessons type advanced and the version is 10.7 and installed applications you can see our catalog our group our map our scene so here is the video of the day and uh, i again request you if you are new to the channel then go to subscribe and so that others guys can uh, find this video helpful so here i can show you some other things as well here you can see the extensions 3d analyst arc scan your statistical analyst network everything so uh, that's the end of the video so i strongly recommend you to subscribe watch other relevant videos thank you very much stay tuned bye bye